Very merry and happy this day, I have no doubt. Oh, no doubt. Hey, cheers. God bless us, everyone. Christmas in Victorian London with some little characters made out of felt and stuffing there. Our next movie is The Muppet Christmas Carol, and this is at least the 12th film version of the Charles Dickens classic, and the second, just from the Walt Disney Company, only a few years ago, made an animated version starring Mickey Mouse. This time, Kermit the Frog has top billing as Bob Cratchit. Miss Piggy plays his wife, and getting top billing among the very few human actors in the film is Michael Caine. He wisely plays it very straight as Ebenezer Scrooge, while the Muppets cavort around him. Oh, there goes Mr. Humbug, there goes Mr. Griffin. If they gave a prize for beginning, the winner would be him. When you really stop to think about it, this is a very gloomy story filled with gothic forebodings and dire consequences, and the addition of the Muppets is an interesting approach allowing the Christmas Carol to lighten up a little bit. Here's a funny moment as Scrooge hears complaints about how cold his office is. We can't do the bookkeeping. Yeah, all of our pens have turned to inkstacles, and our assets are frozen. How would the bookkeepers like to be suddenly... I'm in this is my island in the sun. I believe you've convinced them once again, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> the ghosts of Christmas are Muppets in the movie, too, including the ethereal ghosts of Christmas past. I think you're spirit. I'm mortal. I'm liable to fall. I've captured my hands from usual fly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 I was amused by the way the filmmakers solve logical difficulties. In the marriage of Kermit and Miss Piggy, for example, all of the boy children are frogs and all of the girl children are pigs. Uh, Merry Christmas, girls. Uh, Merry Christmas, Peter. Merry Christmas. Very few stories have been made into movies more often than A Christmas Carol, and so I have to be careful how I say this, but this is a pretty depressing story for Christmas time. Older children and grown-ups will understand that as a parable, they'll be happy that Scrooge is able to change. But little kids may wonder why a holiday movie spends so much time on chains and skeletons and tombstones and a guest appearance by the Grim Reaper. What I like in The Muppet Christmas Carol is the way the Muppets act as a comic counterpoint to the melancholy of the basic story. And the songs by Paul Williams help, too. So does Michael Caine, a very good actor who realizes that the only way to get out of this movie in one piece is to behave toward Kermit the Frog in exactly the same way he would have behaved toward Laurence Olivier. Um, I uh, like the movie less than you, Roger. Right. I, uh, the song, there's one, the first song by, uh, with the Marley the Brothers. Marley, the but, Marley Brothers in yeah. Chains, that's a but, funny song. But then there, there weren't any more. Um, the, I didn't think there were any particularly good, big laugh-out scenes with the Muppets, and I expected them, although I was glad to see my two favorites, uh, Beak, uh, Beaker and Bunsen Honeydew, they're kind of cute. Mm -hmm. uh, but I thought it was really, the, the reason to watch the film, I think, is Michael Caine. I thought, he, he, I think he brought, with his performance, the, the qualities that you're talking about. Also, the film is very dark, and I think that may surprise kids who assume that it's going to be a, a sunnier picture. Literally, it is dark. Yes, it is. Um, and I thought Caine's performance was worth watching. I don't think he was very well supported by the Muppets. You know, this is made after, obviously, Jim Henson's mm -hmm. death, and I think some of the creativity has well, gone it was, out. it was directed by Brian Henson, who was Jim yeah. Henson's son, and who yeah. was uh, involved in the Muppets right from the beginning. So I, I think that he's, he knows all about the Muppets. You know, that point about the lighting is interesting. At one point, I was going to go ask the theater manager yes, if wonder. there was something wrong with the bulb in the projector, because this movie is so dark. I mean, it looked more like Batman Returns than yes. like a Muppet movie, yeah. and even the colors of the Muppets were kind of subdued. But nevertheless... I did enjoy the film, enough to give it a marginal thumbs up anyway. Uh, I'm marginally done. Okay, coming up next, Steve Martin plays a traveling tent revival preacher. He's in for a 